My go-to guy for Mexican boxing gear is Edgar, the boxing collector. He's only gone and launched his own gloves. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel I'm coach Simon and here on fit to box channel I'll bring you all things boxing equipment don't forget to jab that notifications bell for all my latest uploads today I've got a new pair of gloves and as I said in the intro Edgar the boxing collector from Mexico has launched his own boxing gloves and these are Bayonetta MX boxing gloves so what I'm going to do I'm going to do a full review of these but obviously Edgar has got a massive amount of experience when it comes to Mexican gloves and the different manufacturers and for the fact that he has now come out with his own I think shows a real sort of ambition for him to sort of build his reputation especially around the world because before Edgar was doing his thing selling Mexican gloves it really was difficult to get hold of someone who would be able to give you a service that you could rely on when it comes to getting Mexican gloves if you weren't in Mexico. So Edgar is especially good for people like me who's in a different country uh, getting Mexican brands and Mexican gear. Now with this Bayonetta MX Classic gloves, Bayonetta obviously that's like after the, uh, the knife bayonet and on the front there you have got that bayonet logo on the front there obviously Bayonetta on the rear and these in the black and grey and that is cowhide leather and I have to say they have got a beautiful smell in fact as I was using them I was smelling the gloves as I was using them and it was really strong lovely leather smell as you can see on the back there you've got that cloth badge with bayonetta on I would really love to see on these uh, that logo there which I think is a great logo I would love to see that logo there on the rear of the fist I just always think that when it's a plain fist at the back once that's taped up you have no idea which brand that the person is wearing so I do like to see some reference on the on the top half of the glove as to where and what brand they are so these in the laces you can get them in velcro as well and of course you have got that Mexican welted seams on there and you can see sort of the shape of them you've got the flat punch surface very Mexican style glove and then also what you get is you do get your gloves bag with the gloves but you also get a care package which is uh, sort of the boxing collectors own lace and loop okay so they are very useful and also you get boxing collectors hand wraps as well with that sort of I've featured them before where they've got a, a padded knuckle as well as a really nice hand wrap as well so you do get that care package with that too and also you get a t-shirt so you specify what sort of t-shirt size you want as well so you get the gloves you get the care package you get the t-shirt and then obviously with these gloves these are 219 US dollars uh, 190 English pounds obviously plus shipping or customs wherever you are in the world and you can get these from the boxingcollector.com and I do think that the service that he offers and also the the extras the t-shirt the the, uh, the hand wraps and the sort of the lace to loop converters plus the, the quality of the gloves that he's sent here I really do think that he's offering a fantastic service so let's have a closer look at these gloves so Bayonetta these in the black and the grey that cowhide leather lovely leather they're nice and thick um, no logo on the rear on the bottom you've got a black cloth badge there with Bayonetta and also the Mexican colours on there so these are gloves that are made in Mexico these are a true Mexican punches glove as I bring that round you can see again that bayonet in that B of Bayonetta I think that's a nice logo and then bring that up and you can see you have got a substantial grip bar there as well so let's just go on to that knuckle okay you've got a flat punch surface true Mexican punch surface great feedback when you're on the bags one latex layer 
Okay, hard on your sparring partner, great on the bags. Then we come on to the thumb. It looks short, but it's not uncomfortable. You've got the leather attachment in the correct position to stop thumbing of the eye. You have got no air holes on the inside of the thumb. When it comes to the wrist, you've got three padded rectangular rear bumps for the protection of your wrist, but also to track those laces across. You've got the 16 ounce label that is on the bottom there. And then you've got that cloth badge. I have to say, it's a, the edges are a little rough, but nothing sort of, it's not dangerous, but they are a little rough. But you know, if you tape off that, then they would be covered anyway. As I bring it around front, you've got the bulbous padding at the front of the wrist and the front of those laces. Then we come on to the face. You've got a firm grip bar there, big, substantial grip bar no air holes and you've got as you say you go down you've got that logo there of the bayonet you've got the padding either side you've got the laces all right and then as i bring that round there you can see the stitching and these are quality made mexican gloves really are and as i bring it round you can see you've got the welted seams synonymous with mexican gloves and the welts there as well and the leather feels thick and durable then let's come on to that lining and as i open up you can see the lining the lining is soft for a mexican lining and it is not baggy at all either at the rear there or further on the knuckle area so bayonetta made in mexico gloves uh, you've got the label there for 16 ounce the label is upside down to that there mexican gloves sometimes they do hold them hang them up like that and some mexican gloves that badge is on the other way around but here you've got the label like that and you've also got that let's just weigh these gloves so put that on there and put the laces on we are talking 17.4 for a 16 ounce on the label and then we have got this one the right glove and the right glove is coming up 16 point oh 17 just changed just at the end there 17 so they're a little a little heavy for a 16 ounce but nothing too major so let's have a look at the comfort so slide my hand in of course a lot of mexican gloves have that big bulbous padding at the front and obviously you've got the ridges at the rear and that is a really padded front and rear um, wrist and with a lot of Mexican gloves it's sort of less padding and weight here and more padding and weight here hence why you sometimes get some quite heavy Mexican gloves obviously with these these are not that far off I've seen a lot higher weighted Mexican gloves to the actual label than these so they are getting there or thereabouts as i open up you can open up really well to catch the shots now they have got that typical mexican feel they are a little bit rough on comfort they're not uncomfortable but you certainly couldn't say that fly or um, adidas adi speed or adidas tilt or winning if you had one of those on this hand and you had one of these on this hand you there's no way anyone could say that this was more comfortable than those gloves so when people sort of say to me that i've got a bit of a downer on mexican gloves it is not that it just simply is when it comes to comfort they are more rough on the inside of the glove and on your hands than uh, those gloves that i've just mentioned in saying that there is a great fist position that you get uh, the grip bar it's got a good grip bar that i'm gripping onto it's sort of solid and you can feel it it's doing its job which again on some gloves the grip bar is almost like an afterthought almost like it doesn't matter if it was there or not on these definitely you can feel it is doing a job you are gripping onto the grip bar it is nice it is solid you are creating a nice solid fist with that really good wrist support as well okay now as i open it up on the finger pads i can feel as i do that as i do that i can feel a flap of leather that is peeling back and going back forward peeling back and going forward it's not uncomfortable but it's a little irritating it's a little like if you've got like a, a little cavity in a tooth and your tongue keeps on finding it that's what's happening with my middle finger i'm sort of rolling that leather back and forth as i'm doing it again you don't find that 
on the top top gloves. With the thumb, the thumb is sort of tucked in nice. It's a flat punch surface and a very good punch surface, I have to say, especially on the bags. Now, when it comes to sparring, that compact knuckle padding means that these are hard sparring gloves, especially for your sparring partner. So, I would definitely say that these are a puncher's sparring glove. Size-wise, they're not sort of too wide. You can get some really wide Mexican gloves. They're not too wide. In fact, they're, they're quite a normal sort of 16 ounce when it comes to the profile. And then all I would say is the laces, when you actually put them up, uh, put them, tie them round, they are a touch too short to comfortably tie them at the rear. Um, so you end up tying them at the front. I catch a lot of shots. I prefer to have the sort of the knot at the rear. You can do it, but they are really on the shorter side. You could do with another few inches so you can get that a little bit more comfortable. What you don't want to do is to sort of tie it at the back on that level when actually if you tie it at the back at that level it gives you even more support so that's one thing that I would change when it comes to the laces then on the bag you get a great connection I was feeling as I was digging especially the left up to the liver as I was digging that into the bags I really did feel very very satisfying and these are great when it comes to the bag work so these are going to go let me just try on the other one uh, the the actual comfort on both is very very similar um, again I've got sort of this roll of roll of sort of leather that I can feel on the finger pads behind the fingernails is not uncomfortable but you can feel the padding um, I did get so a guy at the gym as well to wear these a couple of guys actually at the gym and he felt that on those knuckles there that it was a little bit rough and also sort of there as well he normally wears adidas tilt so he's comparing it from adidas tilt his normal gloves to these and that's what he said so as i bring that round there again nice thumb tucked, tucked in my, my thumb's right at the end there but it's not uncomfortable i can open up a good way to catch those shots which is great and again that grip bar really good grip bar for that great punch surface and look at the fist position there some gloves you, you're almost in that position these gloves you are definitely in that position which is what you want okay so these gloves are going to go into the fit to box middleweight price division four gloves between 101 english pounds and 200 english pounds or 121 us dollars to 250 us dollars okay so i've gone style 94 Comfort 93, durability, that leather and how these are put together, 96, great score. Sparring 93, as I say, it's not very forgiving for your sparring partner. These are a puncher's sparring glove, so if that is what you want, then obviously these would be a great choice for you. Sparring 93, bag 96, I did prefer them on the bags, really great punch surface with that one latex layer and value for money. 96 and so i've got 94.6 that is two fit to box stars that is great i really do like what they've done with this glove uh, Ed edgar obviously has put a lot of thought into them and i like the um bayonetta and i do also like that logo there i i do think it should be a little bit more on there and make these gloves definitely stamped with that branding when it comes to the three mexican floors that i always go through rough comfort i've had much worse rough comfort from some of the mexican gloves so these are not the most comfortable uh but they're not the most uncomfortable mexican gloves i've tried i would say the most comfortable is probably going to be boxio tm and then you've got really some quite uncomfortable ones which obviously if you look at my videos you'll be able to see the ones that i sort of complain about so i would say they're somewhere in the middle so rough comfort uh, i wouldn't say yes and, and i wouldn't say they're terrible uh, weight not being to label which obviously some of the big mexican brands get this totally wrong sometimes too or three ounces over the label that's not the case with these gloves they're a little over but nothing sort of as drastic as like a 16 ounce weigh 19 ounce for example and then obviously i'll talk about weird thumbs and that's where the thumbs are sort of held out like that and i don't feel like these 
have got that problem. They are sort of tucked in. Um, are they as comfortable as a winning thumb? No. But as Mexican thumbs, are they a comfortable Mexican thumb? Then I would say yes. So, these great feedback on the bags, the sort of gloves that I would say if you were in a white collar fight and you was having to wear 16 ounce or 14 ounce gloves and you was in a white collar fight, you would want to wear a pair of these because you would want to damage your opponent. If you're sparring and you like your sparring partner, he is not going to like you after a few rounds with these. So that's trying really to put it in the perspective these are a hard sparring puncher's glove. So if you want to protect and just have round after round after round with your sparring partners, then that is great. If you want to kill your, your, your sparring partner with pain, then obviously this might be the way forward. And I do understand there is gyms out there that are looking for safety in their sparring. And there is still gyms out there that are looking for hard, almost fight-like conditions in the sparring where it really is every advantage counts so again i do take that on board as i bring that round edgar the boxing collector is doing a great job of bringing not only these gloves which are his brand but the other mexican brands to the world i really do applaud him for it and now in his own right he's bringing two fit to box stars a great pair of boxing gloves to the boxing glove world so edgar keep doing what you're doing absolutely fantastic first try when it comes to bringing out your own gloves um so just one last look for you and then if you want to check out the fit to box price divisions on my website fit you will see where these rate in those lists i hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and i shall speak to you soon